Hello and welcome. This is a walkthrough of the software GraphExpert Professional, which is a piece of software that, as the name does imply, is geared towards visualizing data and functions in a graphical type form. Uh, one of the things that it very nicely handles is raw data from whatever source you might have. Many times the uh, data that you'd like to visualize is not necessarily in a form that's ready for visualization. So there are some nice management features and transformation features such that you can take raw data directly into the software, manipulate it there, transform it there, and then visualize it there as well. Uh, so without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. Um, the most obvious source of data is just to read it from a file. So we're going to do that um, and import from a data file. Now there are other ways of creating data. We won't go over the those in this little walkthrough, but certainly we can demonstrate reading from a file. So we'll go ahead and read in one file, and as you can see there are some options here where you can affect the import of your particular data file. Usually the guesses that the software makes are good enough and they work very well to import your data. So here it is imported and it shows in this components pane. Now before I move on let me quickly explain each one of these panes. Uh, the components pane shows the sources of data basically. They can be functions, they can be data sets, they can be hot links to other files, they can be uh, little mini, what we call mini programs that generate data automatically. Uh, here we'll just be dealing with data sets read from file. Um, the data set editor is a place that you can go and edit that data in a spreadsheet like form. And the graphs pane is obviously the place where you can uh, add new plots and mod modify your plots and whatnot. And then the messages pane just gives uh, messages that the software needs to convey to you at any one given point in time. All right, so now we have one data set read in. Let's go ahead and get the rest, okay? The particular plot that we would like to make actually is comprised of six different data sets. So let's get the other five. And that was just a multi-selection. You can go ahead and import m multiple data sets from file at once. And so let's go and uh, put these on the plot. So again, I'm going to select all of them and I can either right click and select send to current graph or I can drag and drop them over there either way works so when we say send to current graph you can see oh things didn't quite go as we expected them to go alright um, so what can we do to fix that sort of thing alright first let's undo once and then twice on the um, on the graph once was for the auto scaling and the second one do was for the, uh, the addition of those series so let's take a look at these data sets and find out why they didn't plot as we expected them to. All right, all of these compu the computer results anyway have two columns, but when I move to the experimental ones, you can see that it's two rows and multiple columns. Now the way that uh, GraphExpert plots per series is to put each column in as a series. So what we need to do is take the transpose of each one of these data sets. So let's look at that. We'll say transform. Okay and then we'll choose a, uh, a transformation expression that basically says take our data set and then take the transform uh, transpose of it excuse me that's what the dot t part means and there are many many functions you can use here this even the buttons that you see here are only a subset of the various transformations that you can do this is a very powerful tool to use to transform your data sets into whatever form they need to be in um, whether it be a computation that you need to do or whether you need to uh, rearrange the data in some way. All right, so we'll hit OK. Now we'll look at this transformation and now you can see it indeed, it indeed took the transpose and uh, it's ready for uh, graphing. We just need to do the same thing to the other two data sets. So let's do that. Select both. Transform. Use the same transpose operator. And there now we have all three. You can also rename components however you would like. So we'll do so. Uh, so we'll say this is the experimental 87.5%. This is experimental 95%. And then experimental 100%. And we can also do the same thing to uh, any other component as well. So we'll go ahead and do so. Oops, wrong label. 87.5%. Uh, this is computed um, 95% and then computed 100%. All right. 
And that's just mainly for convenience so that you can see exactly what each data set is, but furthermore, those strings are going to be used in the legends. You can obviously uh, modify the legends later, but uh, it'll save you a little bit of time if your components are named something appropriate so that when you drag and drop them over here to the plot, the legend has each one of those names as appropriate. Now the first thing that you usually want to do to a plot is to change its labels, change its title to whatever is appropriate. Okay, so we'll do so. We'll start with the title. All right. Our title here is just going to be Stage Performance. Our X label is going to be Corrected Stage Mass Flow in pound mass per second. And our Y axis is going to be Stage Total Pressure Ratio. And we're going to define that pressure ratio here, and we're going to do it with a little bit of math text, which is a very nice feature. You can mix math expressions, uh, which are typeset equations or typeset expressions, in, in uh, anywhere that you have text on the graph. So you can do that. Okay, so we have P and it's uh, subscripted by T, comma ST, and that's divided by P subscript uh, T infinity, I N F T Y. Okay, you'll see that the the equation or the expression part of this text is surrounded by dollar signs. Okay, and you can see the effect that that has here on the axis. Okay, the next thing that we would like to do uh, is a little bit unsavory about the plot. The uh, the legend overlaps the uh, uh, these lines a little bit, so let's make this font size a little bit smaller. So we'll go to label font, choose eight. By the way, the way I got to that dialog was just to double click the legend. Okay, You can do that with any element that's on the graph, uh, including lines. You can double click the lines and it takes you straight to their properties. Okay. Um, now another nice feature is the application of, of graph themes. We'll do that here. We'll say uh, apply theme and we'll choose one of my favorite ones which is elegant white soft. Okay. And you can see the effect that th that theme change has. The theme stores in it all kinds of properties about a graph, um, like the background color, the font size of everything, um, and most importantly, the line cycle, what it looks like. So you can see that the line cycle is the main thing that changed here. All right, so uh, now that we have that in place, um, the uh, let's see, what do we need to do next? Uh, oh, we'd like to change the um, the experimental curves each to triangles, okay? Because they're all they're all circles, just to distinguish the experimental curves from the um, computed ones. So let's say experimental. All right, oops, that's a computed one. All right, each one of these guys needs to have a uh, triangle up applied to it. So we'll go to each one of these in turn. Say triangle up. Alright, and I notice here when I applied the theme, right, the legend font increased again. And that's because the legend font is included in the theme. Uh, so let's go ahead and readjust that back down. Okay, that's, so there it is there. Alright, now another feature, just to demonstrate it really qu uh, very quickly, is to add an image to the plot. Alright, so I'm just going to come to a document that I have off to the side. You can grab these pictures from wherever you like. And I'm just going to hit Control V to paste that image in, and you can obviously interact with it, move it wherever you would like. All right, uh, uh, double click it to access its properties as you normally would any other element that's on the plot. And uh, I'd like to add some transparency around the edges. All right, so I'm going to say Color Mask, and I'm going to let every white part of this image be transparent. So after I click that, you can see the effect that that has. All right, I'm able to now place this without obscuring curves and whatnot. Um, because uh, Graph Expert does have some features built in just like that to uh, help you work with the images that are on your um, that are on your graph. Now, uh, one last thing to uh, to demonstrate is just is the way that the updating works in uh, Graph Expert. Oh, excuse me, let me back up one step. Let me compute an integral of one of these curves. Uh, Graph Expert does have some analysis capability built in. 
and uh, that that is done by um, basically coming to whatever curve you would like to compute the integral of all right each component here is listed and you can pick a component and uh, select operator sort first okay I could do an integral directly but an integral of unsorted data um, will not uh, work in the software will tell you that it, it won't work so first we need to sort this component and as you can see right this data set is now sorted okay and it's a child of this particular component now the next thing we need to do is now take the integral of that sorted data set all right and now there the integral is 16.46 all right so as you can see here there's a parent child hierarchy that's kept track of here in graph expert and that hierarchy is there so that whenever you update a parent in any way then all of those updates are automatically propagated down the chain so if I modify this data set the sorting is automatically redone and the integral is automatically recomputed and furthermore uh, if you've gra graphed this uh, on a gra in any graph then all of the graphs are updated all right so let's do that just to demonstrate so we've got this data set open in our data set editor so let's just go to the second entry here for y and change that to say a 1.4 alright the most obvious thing that changed is the graph changed alright so you've got you know a kink here where we typed in that new data um, all graphs automatically update uh, because graph expert maintains the link between the uh, data that's in your graph and the component that it's uh, linked to alright so uh, let's look at our integral now right our integral has changed uh, it changed to 16.55 because it was automatically recomputed based on the uh, the parent data set changing. All right, now we won't do anything with these plot types today, but there are there are other plot types that are available in Graph Expert. There's a polar plot, okay. There's uh, 3D plots uh, that you can basically put wireframes on surfaces, um, scatter plots, and things like that on your 3D plots polar plots are fairly obvious uh, you just drag and drop over there just like you would a regular XY plot graph expert also does support contour plotting and you do that just by dragging a data set that happens to have two independent variables over to an XY plot just like this and it'll plot a contour plot okay. uh, we'll go ahead and stop the uh, walkthrough here uh, I'm very excited about this software. It brings very high quality plotting and uh, great data management and puts it together in a very unique way in order to save uh, time in your own workflow. Uh, so thank you for uh, watching this video and I, I, I uh, hope that you take a look at Graph uh, Expert Professional on your own machine. Download it for free. Uh, you can uh, do a trial period for 30 days. Um, and thank you very much again and until next time.